The following is a production of CoasterRadio.com. We should tell this story. We've never told this on the air before, I don't think. But when uh, Flava and I were working at this TV station with uh, Mario, we went to a shoot at Paramount's King's Dominion. And Mario was the host of this uh, TV show that we did for kids. And we actually got a chance. It was the first year that uh, Drop yeah. Zone was open. Yeah. And so uh, it was a rainy day, I remember, but we had to shoot it because we had to get it on the air. Oh, and you guys were all by yourselves yeah. at the park. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's right. And so poor Mario had to ride Drop Zone like four times in a row by himself. Yeah, because he only had the one camera. Well, yeah, for us to, to get, get different angles. Yeah, mm-hmm. we, we had to get different angles. And so like it was raining at the time. So like I was the uh, PA for the shoot. Mike was shooting it. And Mario had to go up there. And he's... He's totally afraid of heights. And the oh. fact that he had to ride it by himself in the rain <laughs> four times was yes. just hilarious. But, yeah, it, it's funny just to see what you had to do for, for those type of shots. But, yeah, it was I was proud of him for putting on a brave face and just yeah. getting through the shoot that day. Because he has to be there on camera smiling and talking about what the ride is like. And he's mm-hmm. talking to the ride engineers. But you could tell when the camera was off and he was just waiting there that he was so afraid of it. So that's a ride, I think, for Mario that's, like, too extreme that he might not go back on. Especially after we made him go on it a bunch <laughs> yeah, of times know, in the rain. By himself. Experience. I'm in Paramount's Kings Dominion, right outside of the drop zone ride. It's a beautiful day. The crowd's here. The, you can smell the funnel cakes. It's great. G and Sonya, you should be jealous. And no, you shouldn't. Because it's rainy. It's cold. I'm wet. There's nobody here. This is the week before the park actually opens to the public. But I am going to find out how these rides work. So I'm going to start off with the drop zone. My first stop here at Paramount's Kings Dominion is the drop zone, and Charles, the senior engineer, is going to show me how it works. Charles, what, what makes this thing lift up? I know it's controlled by magnets somehow, but well, how does it raise up in the air? Well, what we do, first of all, is we get you locked into the seat. Okay. And as soon as we That's get you locked into the seat... No, this is a safe lock, right? There's no That's way right. when I'm up here, even if I took this off, would I be okay? You'll be okay. Okay. The operators come through and check all, make sure the locks are set and the restraints down, and then you're ready to lift off. Okay, I go around, I check the perimeter. Okay. Oh, <laughs> and this rain isn't going to mess up anything. I'm not going to slip out of here, right? It's not going to make the magnet slippery. No, Charles? Okay, right now we're going to operate the rod, and Jenny's going to be our operator. First thing she does, she checks all her operators to make sure that they give the thumbs up. They check their area, they check their gates, everybody is strapped in. Thumbs up, the cycle begins. <laughs> she presses the cycle start, the car comes down and connects up. The switches verify that we've got a connection. That time it lifts up and the ride is pretty much in automatic. All right, here I go. Oh, oh, oh. I'm not gonna scream. Oh, this is high. Oh, this is high. Oh, this is high. Okay, I'm above all the roller coasters already. Oh, it's speeding up. Ah, I don't want to be up here. What she's doing now is making sure that everybody on the ride is behaving. There's no problems going on. She's got her hands on the e-stop switch. The e-stop switch, if anyone is is messing with their ride or, op- or having problems, anxiety attacks beyond abnormal, she'll hit the e-stop switch. It'll stop automatically. We'll communicate with the guests. We'll find out the problem, and then we'll probably bring them down. Oh! Okay, if I close my eyes, I won't realize I'm dropping. This is so not fun. This is so not fun. We've made the 300 foot level. Everything is automatic from this point. So it's at the top, it's checking its systems, everything's go, and here it goes. One, two, three. The seat was already wet. (laughs) Ah, Okay, that was fun. (laughs) So when did you think it was high? I heard you talking about it. When it got over the roof here? It it seems higher as soon as you go up. I feel like I'm above all the buildings right away. And it starts moving fast. That's when I got scared, when it started going up faster. 
Fun ride. Fun ride. Very fun. It's fun once you're down. But when you're coming down, <laughs> all my years were like that. Going by. That's your ride. I wasn't scared at all. I, I was out there telling jokes and looking right. around. Very good. It was all good. <laughs> This is CoasterRadio.com.